So hypoxemia, low arterial oxygen tension, or you can say low arterial oxygen concentration, those two words are interchangeable. When we're talking about this, what we really mean is the arterial partial pressure of oxygen, and that's abbreviated P little a O2, so arterial oxygen partial pressure. Hypoxia, as we talked about, are low tissue oxygen concentrations, and although hypoxemia in the blood can lead to hypoxia in the tissues, it is also possible to be hypoxic at the level of the tissue without having a low arterial oxygen concentration. Hypoxia, so again, at the level of the tissue, has four main causes. Um, and I kind of I kind of like, it's kind of catchy how this is put together and, and divided up really. Anemic hypoxia, which is where you obviously don't have enough hemoglobin to carry oxygen to the tissues, but your dissolved oxygen concentration may be A-OK. -okay. Um, hypoxic hypoxia is oxygen issues at the tissue due to low dissolved oxygen concentration. So this is when hypoxemia does lead to hypoxia. Stagnant hypoxia is when the cardiovascular system is not moving oxygen appropriately, so cardiac output is low, for example. And histotoxic hypoxia is when the electron transport chain in mitochondria can't handle the oxygen, the normal amount of oxygen, that's delivered to it. Um, and an example of that is like cyanide toxicity and then maybe in, in some forms of sepsis.